Hi, I'm Mark Graham, Engineering Sales Manager here at Gorilla Grills. Today I want to take a few minutes and talk about the differences between the Gorilla Grills Silverback and the Z-Grill 700E. Um, obviously they look a lot alike. We've had a lot of people call and ask us, are these the same grills? But today I'm going to take a few minutes and dissect these a little bit and show you the true differences because they're not alike. As you can see in the chart here, this is going to show you all the differences in a quick glance. If you got any questions, feel free to give us a call. We're a 40-year-old family-owned business right here in the U.S. We'd love to have a chance to talk with you. Also, give Z-Girls a call and see if they can answer your questions as well. If you continue to watch the video, I'm going to go over each of these items in detail and uh, hopefully help you make a sound decision. All right, let's start with the outside. So the Silverback comes in at 160 pounds as seen. The Z-Girl comes in at 140. That's 20 pounds. You may not think 20 pounds is a lot, but when there's such similar shape, to pull 20 pounds out, and I'm gonna show you where that all comes from. So starting, obviously on the outside of these grills, as I mentioned, we'll start with a barrel and the lid. Silverback, 12 gauge, stainless steel. Z-Grill, 14 gauge, stainless steel. Um, the body, 35% thicker on the Silverback. Next, let's talk about the controls. On the Silverback, we have a digital control. You can adjust it in five degree increments from 180 to 500. Comes with a meat probe. Has an opening on the side with a little metal flapper so you can put your meat probe through. On the Z-Grill here, they got an on and off switch and a dial controls that allows you to adjust in 25 degree increments. Um, they do have a meat probe hole in the barrel. However, their controller does not have a meat probe option on it. The Silverback also has a pellet dump in the back. That allows you to change flavor of your pellets to whatever you like. This is a feature you will not find on the Z-Grill. And the last thing that's on the outside, it's not a major thing, but just the details. For the can holders on the side, um, the Silverback has a clip so the can holder can't fall off and spill grease, where the Z-Grill just has a little tab. So those, those are just a couple of things on the outside. Uh, let's take a look on the inside. So, first thing to point out on the Silverback, we actually got these stainless steel ribs, and we put those on there because what we want to do is longevity of that shape of the lid. We want to make sure it held that shape and didn't open up over time, and uh, we found that to be very valuable in, again, the longevity of your grill. The other thing that's key is protecting edge, edges, where the heat can kind of build up and escape, and that's why we added another stainless steel trim piece here, and not only does it look good, it's actually very functional and it actually protects that edge extremely well. Uh, this, the Z-Grill doesn't have those options, um, but let's get to the next thing. Let's talk about these grates. Everybody knows the grates are the first thing to go, right? So let's check out what they got. They got your standard porcelain coated cooking grates, and uh, they're probably about 180 thousandths in diameter. Let's see how much this thing weighs. We got about 6.7 pounds. For the silver back, we use quarter inch diameter stainless steel. Um, and we come in at 9.6 pounds. Next thing down is a drip pan. Z-Grill, carbon steel, uh, six pounds. Silverback, once again, stainless steel, nine pounds. It's almost 50% increase in steel thickness. Next thing is the heat shield. Again, carbon steel, 5.4. And with silverback, stainless steel, we come in at 4.8. So the next thing inside is your burn pot. We actually have a stainless steel burn pot, where again, like there are other internals, it's a carbon steel. So looking at the inside of these grills, um, first, thing to point out is they both have provisions for a secondary upper grate and they both come with the grates. We added another set of brackets so if you wanted more space you can simply buy another grate, place it right up here and you're at almost 900 square inches. Next thing to point out inside, we actually added a little brace on the side here and what that did it kept the rack from moving side to side and doing any damage to your RTD on the left hand side. Um, probably one of the most important things and one of the things that you know we love about our grill is the dual wall construction. That really retains heat well. We've done some videos on it. It does a fabulous job. So with our unit, we got the main sheet, 
And then we also got little panels on the inside, on the ends of the barrel, which obviously protects the ends. On the Z grill, they have a double wall as well. However, they just put one plate in here and they left the ends off. There's actually holes in there, but they didn't install any side baffles on there. All right, so uh, we kind of talked about the outside. We talked about the inside. I'm gonna try to close it up and uh, hopefully this will kind of give you a good idea what you're looking at. The Silverback comes in at a four year warranty. The Z Grill, three year warranty. As far as price is concerned, our price rarely changes. We believe in the best price every day for everyone. They always ship out of here, uh, direct to your house, no shipping cost. And uh, that's one thing that people appreciate, um, a stable price. We're not doing sales up and down. We're not finding every day there's a holiday and there's another sale. So uh, we're very stable in what we, how we operate our business. Uh, the Z Grill, I have seen it on Amazon, I've seen it on eBay, all at different prices. I actually seen it on a Rural King, I believe, and uh, I actually had a customer tell me they've seen one of these at a grocery store. Uh, that's their business model, that's fine, it's not our business model. Um, one of the other things that you might want to look at or consider is that you'll see on our website, we offer a lot of awesome accessories that we've designed right here in-house, such as a front shelf, a stainless steel front shelf. We actually have a Pro Cart, which has these big knobby wheels that are awesome for rolling this thing around. We have some caddies that bolt onto this thing, and we're always looking to develop more um, accessories for this grill just to make it cool and make it a, um, and actually a lot of these are customer ideas, and uh, we're kind of proud of that. All right, so check us out on social, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our YouTube channel, tons of information on there. See what the owners are saying. Of course, we're gonna tell you our grill is best, but you know what, actually, you wanna hear what other customers are saying, and I would appreciate you doing that because we're proud of what our customers have been saying about us and how they're standing by. And uh, basically, they're doing a great job promoting us, and they, they love the quality, and so hear what they have to say. Um, also, if you got any questions, give us a call. If I didn't cover something here, give me a call. We're here standing by every day, Monday through Friday, um, seven to five Eastern time. I'll be glad to talk to you, and I got plenty of staff here ready to talk to you at any time. Same there, give them a call if you got any questions. And uh, hopefully we'll see you join our family soon.